Concentrated nitric acid and 30% hydrogen peroxide are corrosive. Wear gloves and goggles. Autonite and uranium peroxide are heavy metals. Wear gloves and wash hands after handling. The radiation from non-enriched uranium compounds is negligible compared to their toxicity, so radiation is not of concern in this procedure. The ultimate goal of this experiment is to extract a pure uranium compound of known stoichiometry from a readily available amateur source. Now, it is possible to extract the uranium out of bulk uranium ore, such as this piece from a mine in Utah. However, this is very inefficient as bulk ore such as this only contains about 2 to 3% uh, uranium by weight. And therefore, the amount of chemicals and uh, labor required to separate out a tiny amount of uranium uh, is not really worth it in my opinion. However, luckily there is another source of uranium, which is secondary uranium ores, such as this autonite over here. Uh, this is especially good because autonite contains over 40% by weight uranium, and so it drastically cuts down on the amount of processing required to arrive at our desired product. Now, to show you that this is in fact genuine ore, I will be holding up this Geiger counter to it and you, from the high count rate you can tell that this in fact contains a lot of uranium. Now another unique property is a property of secondary uranium ores is its fluorescence um, and in this particular case you can see that by shining this ultraviolet flashlight onto it you can see the beautiful green fluorescence that is taking place. Now I'll move on to show you the mechanism that we will be exploiting to extract the uranium out from the other elements uh, as it currently exists in the ore. Now, naturally occurring autonite consists mainly of this chemical formula over here. As you can see, it contains calcium, uranium, as well as phosphate ions. However, autonite also contains transition metal impurities such as iron, cobalt, or nickel, and we will need to be able to separate those out. So we will do this by first converting the autonite uh, into a soluble uranium compound by reacting it with nitric acid to form uranium nitrate. Then we'll react the uranium nitrate with hydrogen peroxide to selectively precipitate out the uranium peroxide. This separates it out from the other transition metals because uh, uranium peroxide is one of the few uh, inorganic peroxides that's not soluble in water. Uh, now, we could also have reacted the uranium nitrate with ammonia to form the uranium-ammonium complex. However, that would not have worked in our specific case because by increasing the pH with ammonia, we will be precipitating out calcium phosphate as well, and this will mess up the separation. Now we will move on to the actual separation. First, I'll transfer the autonite into a beaker. Then I'll pour in just enough concentrated nitric acid in order to react with all of the autonite. Now I'll let it sit for a while and wait for the uranium to be extracted from the ore. After about half an hour, all of the autonite has dissolved. We will now separate out the insoluble components by filtering it. This may take some time. The solution is now heated to boiling because the reaction with hydrogen peroxide only occurs at high temperatures. Now that the solution is boiling, we will add hydrogen peroxide.
the excess nitric acid needs to be neutralized before the uranium peroxide will precipitate out. This can be done with sodium bicarbonate or baking soda. Ensure that the pH does not rise too far or else the calcium ions will precipitate out as calcium carbonate. The optimal pH to shoot for would be between 5 and 6. After the hydrogen peroxide addition, you can see the light yellow uranium peroxide precipitate. Keep boiling for another hour to allow the precipitate to coalesce and be easier to filter. After all of the uranium peroxide has settled out of the solution, the remaining water is decanted off. After allowing the slurry to dry overnight on a heated plate, this is the result. A nice, fine, light yellow powder. Therefore, through a relatively straightforward process, we were able to convert a naturally occurring uranium material into a chemically pure uranium containing compound that can be used for further experiments or be used for other projects such as uranotype printing.